collar and ballers and a pro fist to you all because it is Friday. Work is done. Yeah, school is done. Hoosa! Everything that sucks ass about living in the real world just came to a goddamn end. Yes, and for me, the leveling for the week is over as well. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank the Lord. The leveling is done for a couple of days. On Monday, I get to level some more. Mmm, mmm. Was a great day. It was a great day. I fell absolutely head over heels in love with my priest. I changed him from goblin to undead. It was quite literally like I was playing a different character. It was literally like I was playing a different character. I just fell completely in love with it. And of course... I don't know why. YOLO, I guess. <laughs> when it managed to change my race, I also got the option of a free name change. One does not simply pass up the opportunity of a free name change. No, 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 no. Especially when it's as dull as preaches with the Z. No. One quite simply changes his own priest's name to Swobu Swaggins. Oh, yes. Swobu Swaggins living the dream as the male undead shadow priest. All good. I could seriously consider a Shadow Priest for a main character. I could seriously do that. You've got to change the name, haven't you? You can't just pass up a free name change. <laughs> you can't, especially if you could involve some Swobu. But that's not why we're here. We're not here to really talk about, wow, that's been done. We did that Monday through Thursday. We did all the discussion. We've done it all. We've done it to death. On a Friday, of course, we like to kick back. We like to take off those shoes and we forget about the drama, the class changes, the nerfs, the buffs, all that nonsense that goes on throughout the week. And we prepare ourselves to laugh and be entertained by the misery of others in what we call Drama Friday. Oh yes. A drama Friday is quite simple. On Drama Friday, every single one of you in this chat right now, hundreds of you in this chat right now have a story to tell besides one of you always goes, I haven't got a story. At some point in your life of World of Warcraft, something will happen that, at the time, seems completely insane. How can people take this game so seriously? And you get serious. And you take it seriously. And then you understand why people take it seriously. And you rage. You get angry. We smash things. Uh, and then, later, you kind of look back and laugh. Tell us about it. Submit to me a story at preachgaming at gmail.com. And we'll have some fun with it. I have four stories in front of me. I aim for a one hour show. Depending on these stories is how many we will get out. I do want to announce one particular special thing. Of course, next Saturday is our web show with me and Mr. Ghost, the king of the troll killers. Your transmogs will be assessed then, but also it is going to be Ghost's birthday. That's right, he's turning the ripe old age of 29. He has requested, nay, specified that the next web show will in fact be a drinking game web show once again. And if you who participated in our New Year's web show will know exactly what we're talking about. And yes, next Saturday will be a drinking game web show. I would, I'm so upset that so many of you are happy about that considering what happened last time. I already feel sick. If you wish, I always put this in front, okay? This is the announcement. It's going to be a drinking game web show. It will be Saturday. It will be the day of Ghost's birthday. I will be giving him his gifts on the show. I would like to specify one thing. Some of you will be underage. If you wish to join in the drinking game web show, you can do so at your own pace. Luckily, you are not in the room with us. I do not endorse underage drinking. And you drink to your limits. If you get very ill, that is your on you. Not on us, that is on you. But you are fully welcome to join in the drinking game web show. And if you don't drink, or you just aren't old enough, you can watch. Because last time, I forgot how to walk. Okay, drama stories. Let me put in some stories. I know what I'm going to start with. But I have drama stories which this week have been particularly good. I think, I hope. Drama story one goes by the title of I robbed him blind and he got banned. They call it wow. How Preach got me arrested. <laughs> uh, and one that says, I don't have a title for my story, therefore I've called it Drama Story. <laughs> the arrested one. I kind of figured we'd open with that. It's, I read it, and I don't... I, it's, you know, let's hope it's not too underwhelming. 
let us begin because we have limited time. We have 55 minutes of show remaining. How Preach got me arrested. Holla Preach and a bro fist to you. That's me and to all your viewers. That's you. There you go. First of all, I need to apologize. Last Saturday evening, instead of tuning into the web show, as a baller should, I was embroiled in a real life drama, which was caused in part by your good self. Fuck you, right? How could I have been involved? I have an alibi. I was at the web show, right? There is no web show if I'm not there. It just doesn't happen. I can't have a web show if I wasn't there. Blaming me for whatever the hell happens to you in this story is on you, right? I'm getting that out of the way. I, I just, no, no. It's caused by me. I was at the web show. I was there. Needless to say, I had to share this event with you all. Last Saturday was, in fact, my birthday. And so my flatmates and I had a few friends over for drinks. And we planned to head out on the town later that night. Being poor college students, we were tanking up on a selection of really shitty cheap beers and a couple of bottles of the King of Wines Bookfast. Now, I don't know what Bookfast is. I think in the UK, the equivalent is called Lambrini. But if anybody could back that up as the cheapest, nastiest, alcoholic, piss-tasting wine in history, please let me know. Cheap, nasty wine. Oh my god. Book fast, lol. Fizzy orange alcohol. Oh, it's Book's Fizz. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I should have picked up on that, I guess. <laughs> Book fast gets you drunk fast. Book fast is in the UK and it's terrible. Okay. Scottish junky juice. It's junky juice. Junkies, of course, as you will know. Heroin addicts. Or meth. Or meth. Whatever's your poison. Because it's literally poison. Book fast. Made by monks. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. We sat about in the house, getting lightly pissed until about 11. Can I ask you this question? What time do you guys go out? If you're going out drinking. What time do you guys do that? Because 11 o'clock, I'm out at like 4. <laughs> four, 4 in the afternoon so I can get home in time to, do, you know, play some WoW. 10 or 11. My God, 10, 10, 10. What do you do in that time? What do you do in that time? I'm ready to go at like 7 o'clock. I'm ready to go. I want to get home. i got to get in bed. I've got work tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? I want to make some YouTube videos next day. 10 or 11 o'clock? Holy fuck that. Pre-drinks at 5? <laughs> you all sound so civilized. We will have our pre-drinks of book fast around 5-ish. And then we will head out about... I'd be tired. About 11 o'clock, I'm tired. We started drinking at 5. I need a snooze. I need a snooze. We got lightly pissed until 11 ish and then we decided we would make the trek from our place into the city centre. As you can imagine, we were all a bit loud and obnoxious at this point. Yes, I can. A bunch of college students hopped up on cheap alcohol. Always a good combo. My friend, hmm, Silent Knight, decided it would be hilarious to bring a pair of crutches that had been in the house since we moved in. Should we throw away these crutches that we've moved into? Nah. Let's keep them. Silent Night, you're that guy. You're that guy. You know what would be funny? If anybody ever says that to you, you know what would be funny? Not whatever you're about to say. Shut the fuck up. If anybody opens with that comment, hey, you know what would be really funny? Yeah, you not saying whatever you're going to say or doing what you're about to do. You know what would be funny? No, I don't. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. And if you move into a house and there's a somebody's crutches remaining in the house, throw them the fuck away. Put them in a charity bin. Do something with... Don't keep crutches. It can't end well. <sighs> Between our house and the bus stop is a fairly quiet residential area. So I think our antics were somewhat noticeable. We were about halfway there when a cop car came around the corner and we de <laughs> and decided to pull in to see what we were up to. They were fairly okay. Just asked us what we were doing and where we were going. We must have come across okay, as they just asked us to keep the noise down and move on. Something tells me that Silent Knight and his crutches meant the cops didn't go away. Because you know what would be funny? Now that the cops are leaving us alone, what are you guys doing? Not a lot. Who's going to fuck this up? Silent Knight. He's that friend. He's that friend who's going to fuck this up. Because the police, not giving a shit. Not giving a shit, you know what I mean? Not giving a shit. You've all got that friend. You've all got him. 
You've all got him. Oh, the cops are here. He's going away. Silent Night, you fucking go you're going to goof this up. They drove off, but had only gone 30 yards when they spotted Silent Night. <laughs> Galloping across the street with his crutches above his head. Hilarious. You know what would be funny while the cops are here is to charge across the street with the crutches above my head. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Yes. <laughs> Good job, Silent Night. You did well. You did well. For some reason, they didn't like this. So they came back to give him some shit. They were threatening to take him down to the station for the night. So we, f we all tried to reason with them. The coherency of the arguments wasn't great. <laughs> no, he's fine. Silent Night's just a bit of a dick. It's gonna be okay. And you guys haven't even got to where you're going yet. You haven't even started your night out yet. One highlight I remember was Silent Nighting, Silent Night saying, Ah, don't mind me. I'm just a drunk idiot. <laughs> don't worry about me. I'm crazy. I'm the crazy friend. It's what I do. They were fairly annoyed at this point and were starting to take him towards the car when I blurted out a phrase I picked up from you. Would you stop being such a soppy bollocks? <sighs> How can I be blamed for that? How can I be blamed for that? Why would you tell a police officer to stop being a soppy bollocks? Why would you do that? Let them take Silent Night. It's going to be better for you overall. It's going to be better. 20 minutes later, myself and Silent Night were safely tucked away in the drunk tank at the local police station. <laughs> they only held us for a few hours and sent us home with a warning just before 3 a.m. They were surprisingly nice about the whole thing. One of them even wished me a happy birthday. However, they did confiscate the crutches. <laughs> they took the crutches. So that was that. One of my more successful birthday parties, if I do say so myself. I am not taking responsibility. No. Wrong. Do not call police officers swear words or cuss words, especially soppy bollocks. Calling a police officer soppy bollocks ain't my fault. Ain't my fault. I don't call it. I don't like it. No. No. Naughty. Naughty. Let's have some wow stories. <laughs> I robbed him blind and he got banned. I think we will go with. I robbed him blind and he got banned. <laughs> Hello, preacher. I am writing to give you a story of drama of a type that has not been covered on the stream yet. New drama. This drama involves PvP. <sighs> But not the kind you see in Arena RBG or out in the open world. This is a tale of myself and a bot going head to head in one of the most brutal PvP scenarios in WoW, the Auction House. Oh, PvP with a bot on the Auction House. This isn't going to be funny. <laughs> Recently, I became interested in making gold in WoW. I took up the Ghost Iron Shuffle. Is that like the Harlem Shake? The process is a bit complex, but end product of the shuffle is a large amount of enchanting materials and uncut gems, which can then be made to cut gems and scrolls. I downloaded the Trade Skill Master add-on to help me figure out which cuts to do and profitability to be made. <laughs> One evening, while running a cancel scan, scanning my current auctions to cancel those that had been undercut before relisting, I noticed I was getting undercut on both the gem and scroll front most often by one particular individual. A level 80 goblin rogue. Who's going to be the bot? Who's a bot? Yan Master. Yan Master, you're the bot. You're the bot, Yan Master. You are taking it. You are taking it. Yan Master the bot. A level 80 goblin rogue called Yan Master. I added him to my friends list, a common tactic among competitors in order to keep track of when they're online or not. I went to sleep after relisting once more. Two days later, I logged on and checked my mailbox, retrieving the usual amount of gold and expired auctions. However, amongst them was a mail from Yanmaster. What would you say? A bot sent you a mail. 
In this mail, the player raged at me, telling me to back the fuck out of his market or else he would make sure I never sold another auction again. Oh, the threat. The threat. <laughs> the threat. You will never sell another auction again. <laughs> so Scrooge McDuck. Oh, I simply brushed this off, as you should have. It means nothing. I <laughs> mean, I got a threatening in-game email. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I've been told in the auction house world that if you receive hate mail from competitors, you're clearly costing your competitors some business, and thus doing it correctly. I went about my business, sorted out my auctions, and then went on with my normal WoW play. The next day I log in, and Yan Master is online. This was quite odd, as I had never seen him on at this early hour. I was logging in from university before class about 8.30am. I checked my auctions and every single one had been undercut by Yan Master. Oh Yan Master, you play hard. You play hard Yan Master. Immediately, I suspected that he had put me on his blacklist in Trade Skill Master. Any auction I put up, he would undercut even if it would lose him gold. This gears in my head begin to turn as I try to formulate a plan to get him off my back. You're evil. You are fucking evil. I pondered it through the day, and by the time I logged in that evening after school, I still had no idea. Maybe I could post after he logged for the night? I tried this, but his character remained logged on all evening for five hours straight. Until finally I folded and went to bed for the evening in failure. With all my merchandise in my bag, not on the auction house, after all, I was getting undercut constantly, so there was no point in having it up. The next morning I logged in again, and he was still online! Yan Master, go to bed! Go to fucking bed, Yan Master! Piss taker. Jesus. Now, at this point, I was strongly suspecting botting, as he had been ninja undercutting me the night before. Undercutting very quickly after I posted an auction. Doing this for five hours, remaining that focused for five hours, suggested either a severe lack of things to do, <laughs> or else use of a bot. The gears in my head began to turn again. A plan began to take shape, Mr. Burns. However, a good auctioneer never proceeds with a plan without testing the theory first. I whispered him from an alt, asking about a transmog piece he had put up on the auction house. Simultaneously, I put up an auction of one vivid wild jade for a reasonable price. The plan starts to take shape. Just below the lowest priced auction, which was his. Simultaneously, it's like a double maneuver. Sure enough, the auction was undercut immediately, but no response came about the piece of transmog gear. I repeated this twice more for good measure and concluded that he was, in fact, using a bot to undercut anyone and try to corner the market for himself. Mmm. The wheels in my mind began to turn faster. <laughs> you sound like Mr. Data. <laughs> These wheels are turning faster. I strongly suspected they had blacklisted my main on the Trade Skill Master mod. He would undercut my auctions by one copper forever, regardless of whether this would lose him money or not, in order to try and muscle me out of the market. And with the bot, he could do it immediately and indefinitely. My final plan took shape. But once again, a good auctioneer never proceeds without testing an underlying theory. I posted a brilliant primordial ruby for 50 gold, knowing that the market price was 100 gold. If he had blacklisted me, he would undercut me despite the 50% loss this would cause. Sure enough, the bot undercut me by one copper. So now I knew this was using a bot and had blacklisted me. Most likely without a threshold to stop him undercutting too low. I knew I could get him banned for botting easily, but why stop there? That's right. True genius is evil. True genius is evil. I could just get him banned. But why would I do that when I could do what I'm about to do? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All that stock he had would be removed from the market if he was banned, thus going to waste. I could find a much better use for that stock, namely lining my pockets. I waited till 4 a.m. in the dead of night. In the dead of night. 4 a.m. that evening, the next morning, Friday to Saturday, and logged on. Sure enough... Yan Master was online. I quickly posted one of each of my most expensive enchants and cut gems that I had available for two copper each, a major risk. And the reason why I had waited until the dead of night to put my plan into action. 
If someone had been online checking those markets, I could have lost a large amount of gold very quickly. However, my gamble paid off. And sure enough, he undercut me by one copper for some of the best in slot enchants and gems in the game. I happily snatched up all his auctions until he stopped listing the weapon enchants and high value gems. Presumably, his stock dried up and then cancelled my trap auctions and reported him for botting. I logged on the next morning and found that Yan Master was not online. His auctions were gone and the markets had not been shaken from my late night plundering. I received several wind song enchants, a dancing steel and river song enchants, and many cut gems, altogether worth close to 15,000 gold. All for a few copper. I have not seen this character online in a week. I assume that he has been permabanned or else given up on this market after losing all his money. I hope you enjoyed. We did. Take that, botters, you motherfuckers. Botters can kiss our ass. 15,000 gold in the bag, but you are one sneaky bastard. You are one sneaky bastard. You're sneaky. You are sneaky. I don't want to play with you. You're sneaky. You're too sneaky. You're too sneaky. I don't like it. I don't like the sneaky. Mm -mm. I don't like it at all. I don't like too sneaky. Too sneaky is too sneaky. I don't like that. I don't like it. It's scary, and I don't like it. Our next story. <sighs> has panties in it. Yep. <laughs> Our next story has some panties in it. Panties. I believe so. Panty panties. It's nicknamed drama story. Yay panties. <laughs> Yay panties. Drama story. The, the story of no title. Greetings, mortals. My name is Alex. On with the story. Mortals. Omnipotent, are we? Lord Zeus. I don't think so, because you spell greetings wrong. Ha ha ha. Opening with such a smelly title. Opening with such a title and spelling it wrong. Owned. Self-owned. Lol. I started playing WoW sometime in Wrath of the Lich King. <sighs> <laughs> so many of you started in Wrath of the Lich King. <laughs> so many. My friends told me to start playing, and so I did. Start playing. <laughs> Alright. Start playing. Okay. <laughs> I signed up for the trial to the World of Warcraft. After several hours trying to create an email and then registering it, I finally got my account ready to go. The next day, the downloading of the game finished, and I logged in. My friends told me to play on the realm, blah, blah, blah. And not knowing anything about this game, I scrolled down to the lifter servers and found blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Into the game we go. I, like a noob, chose a female known mage. No, not noobish. Correct. Absolutely fucking correct. Female, gnome, mage, yes. Mm. Yes. 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 Every time, yes. 100% yes. Female no mages, pink pigtails, taking fucking names. I'm in. I'm in. I then logged onto the game and found myself in a completely new world. It was white and shiny and amazing. Dude, it was done fucking Moreau. It's the worst starting zone in the fucking game. That opening area? Snowy, I guess. I appear to be in some sort of basin. Only Mulgore is worse. Only Mulgore is worse than fucking Dunmoreau. It's awful. God, it's bad. God, it sucks. It sucks. I gotta go through the cave. I started leveling. I had some previous gaming experience and I knew that I was supposed to kill stuff. Hmm. <laughs> I've played... I'll have you know, I've played a game before. I know I'm supposed to kill things. <laughs> I'm not a noob, right? I'm not a noob. I'm <laughs> not a noob. <laughs> I've got to kill things. I'm not fucking stupid. <laughs> when I finally got the quest to kill some kind of boss in the gnome starting place at level 6, I began my journey to the cave he was in. I know the cave. Who knows the cave? Everybody here knows the Dumbarrow Cave. The first one? Full of trogs, I think. It's a trog cave. After many hours... Of dying over and over to this level 9 elite. Hours. He's just started the game. 
just got Wrath of the Lich King, fail. Started in Dunmoreau, fail. Level 6, tried to take on a level 9 elite, fail. Not going well. It's about to get worse. I asked my friends to help me. <laughs> this is when I noticed I was on the wrong realm. Oh! Oh, oh yes! <laughs> yeah! Hours! He's been there for hours trying to kill level 9. <laughs> He's been there for hours. Literally hours. Oh, I can't do this. I know I'm supposed to get... Can you help me? Where are you? You're not on the server. What? <laughs> this is when I noticed I was on the wrong realm. I immediately logged out and rage quit the game. <laughs> I spent hours... I've been here for hours. I'm not fucking playing your game. Fuck your game. Your game is bullshit. Your game is bullshit. I'm not playing. Fucking not on the same realm. I can imagine he logged in. He's like, oh, slash who is friends? Oh, they're not on. Maybe they're not online yet, right? <laughs> I came back to WoW in the first month of Cataclysm. I also changed schools and had WoW playing friends. Amazing. <laughs> I was referred by a good friend and it took us three weeks to level my Blelf female paladin and his Blelf female priest to level 80. It took me another two days to reach 85. I finally started to look for a raiding guild, but before I did, I was invited to the guild, the Mighty Turks. Because we had fun on the Turkish guild earlier. <clears throat> by another friend from school. He was playing an undead male death knight. And recently began raiding the Bastion of Twilight and Blackwing Descent. I, like a boss, did my questing and rep farming to get the best gear possible before raiding. When I finally got to the point where the last piece of gear I needed to start raiding was the plate shoulders from the trash in Bastion of Twilight. That's where I went. As the amazing player I was, I didn't want to tank since I had quite bad gear. So there I was, DPSing Bastion trash in Prospect. Boy, did my friends bug me about that, and they still do to this day. <laughs> I finally got my shoulders and began raiding. I was invited to another guild. Our guild master. I think we'll have Brain Break. You're the GM. GM Brain Break. Brain Break. Brain Break. Brain Break. Gotcha. The Orc Male Warlock. Orc male warlock, what the fuck is wrong with you, brain break? Brain break. Dude. Not cool. Not cool. Orc, orc casters, the only class that makes you want to be a female caster. Orc. Ugh. Bad. Was the biggest douchebag ever. No shit, he plays a male orc. Warlock. Of course he's a douchebag. Brain Break, you're a fucking douchebag. It says it in the story. It's fact. It's fucking fact. He was the one of those who shows up to the raids. He feels like <laughs> that guy. The guild master. Anyways, we went on with the raid. After about three hours elapsed, we had gone through the trash to Halfus in about 40 minutes. 40 minutes of Halfus trash. <laughs> How many trash packs is there? One, two, three... Four, five, 40 minutes for six trash packs? Dude. Dude, not cool. Followed by two hours of wiping on him with some 10 minute breaks. I swiftly gave up on raiding and started farming achievements. I didn't start raiding for real until Firelands came out. When this happened, I joined the guild that was previously a cesspool guild. We'll call them. They'll be the Mighty Turks. We didn't have the Mighty Turks earlier. This was the most fun I'd ever had to date in WoW. Our progression was terrible, but we were like family. This is where the drama begins. Slowly, our guild master, Steak and Cheese, new GM, Steak and Cheese, a male Tauren Paladin, who was about 30 years old. We also had another Holy Paladin named... Hmm... Mm, 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 mm. Fluff McDuff. <laughs> Holy pally. Fluff McDuff. Fluff McDuff. When the guild was still a cesspool guild, 
She was in it. Oh, Fluff, you're a chick. Fluff, you're a chick. Drama. <laughs> well, the girl was still a cesspool girl. She was in it, and she, when asked, told everyone she was 19 years old. Fluff McDuff. Fluff McDuff. Dude. Very bro. Steak and cheese? I think you're in for a good time. I think you're in for a good time, Fluff. She had an awesome voice. This gets a little bit creepy now. And just from saying tiny words, sometimes in vent, she gave the little boys with small penises larger penises for the moment. Tiny words. Okay. What's a tiny word? Swobu. <laughs> she was not afraid to talk at all. And I will explain why later. We raided and had fun for quite some time until our guild filled up and we had about 20 raiders and 10 raid spots. Who the fuck did your recruiting? Who the fuck did your recruiting? Oh my. <laughs> Fluff, do you do the recruiting with your voice? Would you like to join my guild? <laughs> this, of fucking course, meant that Steak and Cheese decided to start up a second raid team. Yep, only, only institution. I decided to play Rhett in the beginning since we had an overflow of healers and paladins by the sound of it. I topped the DPS in every single raid and we were just barely down Shannox. It was basically a pug with everyone in the pug also being in the same guild. We did use Vent however and that helped a lot. We progressed to Alice Razor for a, on Alice Razor for about a month before I finally decided to talk to Steak and Cheese. After a long talk I started raging at him. <laughs> hey, can we have a chat? Yeah, that's fine. And over the next 10 minutes, it turned into a raging argument. I, so I started raging at him, whining at me for complaining over the second raiding group. Because after all, it was the second group. I instantly G-quit and joined another guild and got my well-deserved core raid spot. In other words, you were team two and mad. Team two and mad. Team two and raged. We progressed to down 6 out of 7 normal the following week, with me playing as Holy. Following that, we progressed Ragnaros for another week and finally downed him. We began the amazing feeling of killing heroic bosses for the first time. Me and our main tank... Rasty. Can be Rasty. MT is Rasty. Main tank Rasty, a male undead death knight, had our fair share of arguments over Skype. Man... I get the feeling you are the one causing the problems. I get the feeling you're the one causing the problems. Every guild you go in seems to end badly. <laughs> you can't even find the right realm, bro. Bro, do you even realm? Do you even realm, bro? Come on, bro. <laughs> bro, you're not realming right. You're not realming, bro. Fucking shocking. Shocking. I don't fuck with Rasty. <laughs> and he was one of those guys that was fast as someone fails. He rages and says fuck. And this won't even get a kill, etc. Rager. Rasty the Rager. When we were first time downed Alice Razor Heroic, the mount dropped. The fucking mount dropped. We rolled for it. I won the roll, but Rasty... Oh no, it's not Rasty. It's, it's fucking Brain Break. It's the same guild who was in before. It's fucking Brain Break. Brain Break. He's back in the game. We rolled for it. I won the roll, but Brain Break said that he did higher DPS than anyone else. <laughs> Says in brackets he was flying. He's the guy flying on Alice Razor. <laughs> I did more damage than anybody else. You're in the air. <laughs> you got a fucking huge buff. Brain Break, you're a massive douchebag. You're a giant fucking douchebag. Holy fucking Jesus. Lol. See how much DPS I did? See how much DPS I did? You were flying though. You got a massive buff. No, no, no. Doesn't matter. Look how much DPS I did. Look at the damage meter. I'm winning. And took the mount for himself as he was the GM. <laughs> Played, Brain Break. <laughs> Played. <laughs> of all the reasons to ninja something, he's like that. He's like, how can I ninja this item? What can I do to ninja this item? I won the DPS. I flew, but whatever, right? <laughs> I flew, but whatever. I won it. I won it. <laughs> this led to a two hour argument and three G quits. The future wasn't looking very promising. Well done, Brain. Hey, doesn't matter. Got the Alice Razor mount. Not giving a shit. Brain Break 2012. 2012, bitches. Yeah, oh, the guild fell apart. Have you seen my cool mount? <laughs> well played, Brain Break. Respect. You got ghosted, son. You got ghosted. We began, began progressing Raggy Heroic. 
But we never downed him. <laughs> YOLO swag money. <laughs> swag money. Mount own guilds progression. Fucking right. Well played, Brain Break. I like it. While I had the time of my life in that guild, at least to some extent, the other guild didn't do very well. They got a crossbow from Trash and one of the two Hunders won it. <laughs> Leading to their top DPS leaving the guild. Fucking douchebag. <laughs> Loot horse, man. I love it. Steak and Cheese decided to move the guild to Kazakh for continued progress. Two of the odd 100 members actually transferred. <laughs> we're moving the guild to increase our progress. Where are we going? Kazakh. All right, we've got 100 men. We're 100 strong. Let's go. Where is everybody? <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Two out of 100. I could almost work out that percentage. How many people in the chat right now are trying to work out the percentage of two out of 100 people? Admit it. You done goofed. You done goofed. Steak and cheese, I'm so low. I know, I don't feel so... <laughs> Look at everyone telling the answer. 2%. <laughs> Dude, it's 2%. It's 2 out of 100. <laughs> at least Rasta got it. It's like 8%. <laughs> I can't do... I don't math. This is World of Warcraft talk, right? I don't fucking math. Do you even math, bro? <laughs> everyone saying the answer. That's fucking awesome. It's 2%, Mike. <laughs> it's 2%. It's 2 out of 100. It's dead easy. <laughs> it's okay, steak and cheese. You know why? Because Fluff McDuff was the other person who came with you. Ching! Hi! <laughs> the only person who moved was Fluff McDuff. The sexy, sultry siren of Fluff McFucking Duff. Oh yeah. S steak, you got the cheese that all the ladies love. Mm mm mm. <laughs> Fluff McDuff was one of the people. After months of recruiting, they gave up. And Fluff quit the game forever. People went crazy on steak and cheese because he made her quit. You made the sexy girl quit. <laughs> Blame steak and cheese. You made her quit. She's so fucking hot. I don't care. Let's just leave her alone. She speaks on vent and she's a girl. She has a really nice voice. Take it like a man, steak. Take it like a man. Take it like a man. <laughs> he defended himself by saying that she did in fact not help at all with anything she didn't do a goddamn thing what are you talking about no we can't raid now without fluff mcduff it's literally the only piece of reason i'm here but she didn't do anything we haven't lost anything she's left yeah but it doesn't matter no it doesn't matter i'm not raiding now <laughs> she didn't help at all she didn't do anything and it was basically her fault that they didn't get to start raiding <laughs> Steak and Cheese quit the game. Ah, oh, and I still talk to them sometimes. The amazing accessible guild had died completely. This was sad, sad day for me. I moved on quickly with the release of the Dragon Soul. It was an amazing experience to grab three Realm First Normal Mold kills on the day of release. We did, however, not have time for more that day. When we finally downed Ultraxian, the mount dropped. You lucky bastards. Lucky bastards. <laughs> you know who's still in the guild? <laughs> Brain break. <laughs> Brain break. Still there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Once again, Brain break thought of himself like some kind of god boosting us through the raid and took them out. <laughs> you stayed with him. You stayed with him. <laughs> what reason is it this time? You're not even top DPS. I don't give a shit. I'm the loot master. Stop giving me loot master if you're not happy with it. Mine. <laughs> this stalled us completely as several people quit the guild and it took us a few days to get people back again. <laughs> people started getting very tired of brain break. <laughs> <laughs> Loyal minions. I love it. And he quit while for his girlfriend with his mounts. Yeah, bitches love those mounts. Isn't that right, Brain Break? What a guy. Our disc priest, who shall be our disc priest? Swamp Crunk. I just see that name and I think, yes, you're a disc priest. Disc priest is Swamp Crunk. Swamp Crunk. Our disc priest, Swamp Crunk, was given GM. He continued to progress with the guild, as did the rest of us. We finished up with Realm First, Warlord Zonos, Hagara, Spine of Deathwing, and Madness. 
After we cl eight, cleared 8 out of 8, I quit WoW because Dragon Soul fucking sucks. Now, my now good friend, Rasty, took over my account for the time being. So, Rasty, you're now in charge. He transferred my paladin to Frostbane and joined the guild, Sc the Scandinavian guild. Rasty, oh, can I play your account? Yeah, I'm transferring all your characters. Good guy, Rasty. Good guy, Rasty. Oh, yeah, can I play your account? Yeah, sure. Just transfer all your characters. And they're gone. And they're gone. <laughs> there he found Dragon Soul Heroic for the next three months. And got me the Life Binders Handmaiden from Heroic Madness. As he transferred, the guild he had joined had a GM. Another GM called... Bernard. I'm gonna, or Bernard. I'm going to say Bernard. GM Bernard. It's the third one we've had. Third GM. Okay. Bernard. You know, a gym called uh, Bernard, and his girlfriend was a priest healer. Good game. Let's call her Bangriefers. <laughs> the GF Bangriefers. Bernard and Bangriefers. They're good people. Nobody, <laughs> ne nobody ever got to know her name nor hear her voice. The silent party. Oh, Bangriefers. A sultry, mysterious. It's a girl, but she never speaks. Whoa, oh, that makes her all the more hot. That makes her so much hotter if she doesn't speak. Makes her so much hotter. They raided, had fun, found and got gear capped. Sadly, oh, Bernard and Bangriefers broke up. Oh, and the guild disbanded. Oh, no, that never happens when you join a guild run by a couple. That never, that's like random. Jesus. Bangriefers started to chat with Rasty. Still using my account. Oh, Rasty. What did you do? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, Rasty. Rasty, Rasty, Rasty. And asked him to show her pictures of him. She wants to see those pecs, Rasty. He sent her a picture with clothes on. <laughs> and she replied with a picture of herself standing in her panties while rubbing them. Nice. That is an A plus result. Winning, right? Hey, here's a picture of me. A ka ching! Yeah! Alright! Rasty, you smooth talking motherfucker. Bangriefers, you're a slut. Holy shit. What? <laughs> Did you expect that in your reply email? Google Mail. What? What? Oh my god, were they granny panties? <laughs> Hashtag winning. Good email. That was a good news day. Good news day. Rasty actually met this chick IRL, and her name was... Hmm. They hooked up every now and then, being just friends with benefits. Rasty, you, you sly dog. You sly dog, Rasty. Eventually, they started dating for real, and they are still together. Ah, You feeling it? Rasty! Result. Rasty, that one email, Rasty. Got you a new girlfriend. Nice. Nice. Oh, Bangriefs also lived in the same city as Rasty, and he had regular and had re oh ooh oh no that's not ooh hang on oh no oh no Bernard the ex also lives in the same city as Rasty, mm -mm. and they had regular contact together. Oh. <clears throat> I told Rasty to, t <laughs> to tell Bernard that he was dating his ex. That's always a good idea. You should always definitely do that. That's going to work. That's going to work. Definitely good idea. Hey, friend. <laughs> I'm dating your ex. Nice. Nice. But he refused and said that would be a bad idea. Boy, was he wrong. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. Right. Wait. She accidentally... Sent Bernard a nude picture of herself. Accidentally. I want some ones and zeros. If you believe it was an accident, I want to see a one. If you don't, I want to see some zeros. And I want this screen to look like the biggest pile of breasts in the history of time. <laughs> look at those breasts. Who's the non-believer? Who's the non-believer? Look at that. <laughs> yeah. I always accidentally send nude pictures of myself to the wrong person who have completely different names. 
completely different names. Okay, enough binary. <laughs> Obviously, Rusty had never heard of the bro code. Oh, Rusty, you're in the wrong. You're in the wrong, not you're getting played like a bitch. Rusty's getting played. You've never heard of the bro code, Rusty. Do you even bro, bruh? Rusty, do you even bro? What are you doing, Rusty? You don't even bro? You don't even bro, bruh? Jesus Christ. Bra code. Brasty? Hoes before bros. I like it. I like it. Hoes before bros. Winnie. <laughs> Bernard, who was two years older than him and a hundred odd pounds heavier than him, beat him up. Rusty, you got your ass kicked. Rusty ended up with a broken arm and a nose. I don't know why it got so violent without all talking to Rusty. But, but he, he left him with uh, bang grease after that. Rusty till still tells me it was worth it. Yes! Huh! Totally worth it. Totally worth it. She was fucking worth it. Yeah! Totally fucking worth it. I got broken arm, broken nose. Worth it. Fucking worth it. She bangs like a goddamn truck. Winning. Still worth it. Still worth it. Ladies. These wild wow ladies. Awesome. Totally worth Best line ever. Rusty said. Totally worth it. Totally worth Finger cuffs. Oh, from Jason Amy. Finger cuffs for the win. <laughs> but this is not all. It continues. Miss of Pandaria arrived. And I decided to start playing WoW again. Rusty made very nice progress on my account. But I had no problems with giving it back. Good guy, Rusty. Gets laid. Gives the account back. Gets you epics. What a guy. I tried to get my now protection piled in. And I managed to grab decent gear and get into a guild that was about to begin raiding. It was called... The Swamp Monsters. Oh, God. This guild was led by our main tank's wife. An orc female rogue. No! No! No, 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 no. Nope. I didn't really care, but I should have ran the fuck away as fast as I heard of it. We started raiding eventually, and wiped for several weeks on the stone guards. Oh my god. Weeks and weeks on the stone guards. Our main tank was completely retarded and didn't use his taunt to switch the doggies around. Many players left the guild since they were well aware that the main tank was never going to be uh, kicked. The guild disbanded the following week. <laughs> I managed to join another guild called Get Progress. We downed 4 out of 6 SMV the first week. Uh, then we were stuck on the dreaded Elegon. We had about 30 fillers and 10 core raiders. 30 fillers. 30 fillers. Therefore, the GM instantly kicked the people who kept failing and replaced them. We managed to kill Elegon, and by the beginning of Will, we had 28 members less than before we started Elegon. <laughs> we went into Heart of Fear, wiped for about a week, and then we killed the first boss. We continued to wipe on the second boss. And I decided to leave the guild because the GM was constantly shouting at us with an extremely squeaky voice. <laughs> Hello! Stop wiping the raid! Tell the boss! Barrier! Barrier! We need barrier! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that would be horrible. That would be horrendous. This led me to give up on PvE completely and started playing PvP with my friends. This game is fascinating indeed. I hope you like my story. Would of course be awesome if you read it in one of your videos. Feel free to use any names. Thank you, Alex. Oh my god. Oh my god, have you had a fucking journey? Have you had a journey? We've had it all tonight, haven't we? We've had it all tonight. We've had everything. Oh, that's a good story. That is a good story. The one even with no title. Even if with no title. I'm going to say that was the last story. With 10 minutes remaining. No, I'm not doing one more. The next one's... I'll show you. The next, <laughs> the next one is uh, many, 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 many pages long. Six pages in length. And of course, PDF format. Six, six, <laughs> six pages in length in PDF format. I will save that. 
for next time. I will say that for next time. I think we've had a great show. I think we've had some good stories. And <laughs> I had everything sex, violence, and a squeaky story. <sighs> Thank you for a tremendous week this week, especially those in the live stream. Uh, you've kept me going through leveling and leveling and leveling. It was a great way to end the week. It was a great way. The main YouTube video that I'm editing properly, the proper edited big weekly video is going up tomorrow night. I promise it's going up tomorrow night, so you can look out for that. It's top five in WoW. I think you quite like it. It's going to be pretty funny. Um, and of course, it's Drinking Game Web Show next Saturday. All right, next Saturday. It's also maybe the final week of leveling next week with me from 9 a.m. Until then, I will not see you probably live till Monday at 9 a.m. on Monday. I'm not. Don't plan on doing anything this weekend. If I do, I will pop up. I will put some message on Facebook if I feel like doing something live. Other than that, that is preach gaming essentially done for this week. We're gonna have a nice relaxing weekend and do some YouTube videos. Thank you so much for this week. I've had a great time. Thank you for topping it off with a wonderful Drama Friday. Thanks to all the people whose names I used. I hope I didn't pronounce it wrong. And I hope you all enjoyed it in the spirit of good fun. I will see you on Monday. Bye, guys. Take it easy.